Shut up and sit down. Hey, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And tonight, as usual, we're surprising each other with trailers that the other person has not yet seen and filming our silly reactions. So what do we have coming up next? Well, next up, we have a trailer that, as usual, we did hours of recording last weekend, and pretty much the moment we finished, Marvel released a huge trailer. So we're actually about a week late for this one. We're probably not going to get any views as everyone's already seen it and is sick to death. But we have not yet seen the trailer for Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. Ten. Ten rings. Count them. So we're going to go ahead, check out the trailer. If you want to see what we think about it, then stick around until the end. But for now... Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Punch hole. Mortal Kombat! No, this is the wrong movie. I gave you ten years to live your life. Now you see me rise. <laughs> oh, karaoke! That can't you. Oh, I missed her. He walked in my shadow. I trained you so the most dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you. Son, it's time for you to take your place by my side. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> you can't outrun Whoa. Really Whoa. Who are you? Man, so we have just finally, a week late, seen the trailer for Shang-Chi. Which was not what I was expecting at all, but before I blabber on, what did you think? So my very favourite thing is Aquafina, because more Aquafina is always good. And she is just so funny. Yeah. Just, she doesn't even need to say anything funny, just the way she says things is funny. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm li I like that she's in there. She's clearly going to be the comic relief. And with a movie like this, where the characters are so incredibly serious, it's kind of fun to have that lightness as well. Yeah. If you haven't seen Raya and the Last Dragon, man, Aquafina is so, so good in that as the dragon. And there's something, like you say, about her mannerisms and how she's kind of intentionally awkward. And that maybe that's where Aquafina comes from. Mm. But yeah, she, she seems to try to create this persona of being weird and awkward and out of place. And even in the animated Raya and the Last Dragon, that comes across loud and clear. And you can see it, like the way she's kind of hunched driving the bus. And ah, oh, yeah, she does look awesome in it. As well as that, you've got Tony Leung, who plays the Mandarin, who is Shang-Chi's father. Mm. And you've got Michelle Yeoh, the OG female martial artist, who yes. I can't wait to see in this as well. Mm. So, yeah, there is a lot to love there. You know what kind of blew my mind, though, was the blend of, like, fantasy world, historical world, and mm. modern world. You've got subways, you've got a modern bus, you've got what looked to be the streets of San Francisco, and then you've got 
lions jumping over things. I'm guessing he goes to some kind of mystical world to train or something. Mm. And, I, you know, I've read a lot of Marvel comics. I've never read about Shang-Chi, so I actually don't know. I know a bit about the Ten Rings, who we saw in Iron Man and Iron Man 3. They were kind of under this uh, false Mandarin back then. Now we're going to see the real Mandarin, but I don't know a lot about Shang-Chi and how his story interweaves with the rest of the MCU. So I'm fascinated to see how this kind of feeds into phase four of the MCU and eventually into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness when things seem like they're really going to kick up a level. So kind of amazing though that we've got Black Widow in July and then we get Shang-Chi in September and then we get Doctor Strange. Like it's, yeah crazy how much marvel we're getting this year and next year and still i'm excited this <laughs> yes. isn't too much like i yes. was expecting to be, it to be saturated and i'm like nope more yeah more you know what though and i know many of us will not have a choice but man does this look like the kind of movie you want to see in a cinema or a movie theater yes. i mean i guess you know we can do drive-ins and socially distance outside but mm. this looks like the kind of thing i would want to see in a giant imax screen with Speakers pounding away underneath me. It just... or, or that one in Times Square that did that 4D experience oh. where it rattles you in your seat. Yeah, if you've not seen, I think they call them 4DX theaters mm-hmm. where the seats move and you get like air spraying in your face and stuff. And you can literally see if it's raining, you can see drizzle in the theater. It's just crazy. So yeah, the, I, I'm just longing to get back to any <laughs> anywhere that isn't our lounge yeah. to watch a movie. But hopefully by September we'll be good to go. Well, if you've enjoyed this video about Shang-Chi, we're also going to do another video very, very soon about the 14 confirmed MCU movies that are lined up. And there's a lot to talk about there, so look out for that one. And we've also done trailer reactions to Loki, and we've just finished Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and we've got the What If series coming, so... Man, and, and it's, as if that's not enough, you've got all the Star Wars stuff coming to Disney+. Plus. You've got the Cassie and Andor show and Star Wars The Bad Batch, and they just keep rolling in. So Disney+, Plus can just keep on taking my money, mm-hmm. and we're going to keep being excited about what they're throwing out. But, man, Shang-Chi looks awesome. So, good. so there you go, friends. That is all we got time for today. But as you know, how often do we do this? Every day. Every day in every multiverse. So we will see you then, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, nerds. Bye! Shut up and sit down.